is exciting news. So we've been trying to get this garden bed prepped. The one right here, well, actually this whole section is eventually going to be garden. It's exciting, look at how big this bed is. This will one day be a section of our garden and maybe we'll even extend the garden further. I can't wait. But for now, we're just kind of starting small. We've got the, gar the goats and the chickens and the ducks working on tilling this up, fertilizing it, making it nice and breaking down all the grass. And um, we started working on one small section here, over here. We have, they've tilled up real good. I've laid down uh, manure and hay from the cows. They're currently on it one more time for a second pass just to go through and make sure they've gotten all the bugs and really tilled it up and uh, fertilized it just so that that hay can break down efficiently because you need that balance of nitrogen to carbon. We use wood chips in our garden mulch, which most of you know it by. I'm gonna just stop assuming that a lot of the things that I do is common knowledge. A lot of people do know this stuff, but there are people who are just now getting started into homesteading or are just starting a garden and they don't know this, or this is something that they would be like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known that. That would be so helpful because at one point I didn't know about this. So obviously putting mulch down in this garden bed, I think these sections are about maybe 10 feet long. So this is 20 feet wide. One, two, three, four, five. Five, eventually, 50, eventually 60 feet in length. That's a lot of bags of mulch. That's, that's, that's many bags of mulch that you would buy from the store. And that get expensive very, very quickly. So one of the quick, one of the cheapest solutions, <laughs> the duck's going crazy in the background. One of the cheapest solutions to putting mulch or wood chips in your garden is to reach out to your local arborist or tree trimming services. Now, <laughs> we have a local tree guy here in town who I've reached out to in the past. He will bring out a truckload of wood chips and it's the, ho the whole tree, leaves, branches, trunk, everything. And what's great about that is it's basically every bit of nutrients that that tree has is gonna get directed into your garden's soil as it decomposes and breaks down and continuously slowly feed your garden. Now, I won't um, go into more detail with wood chips. Um, if you want to do some research on wood chips on how to effectively use wood chips so that it's not, so that it is um, mulching your garden and effectively working to benefit your plants instead of tying up the nitrogen because that can happen. Um, we'll touch base on that with another video, but I just wanted to come to you guys really quickly with that tip for you to save some money or to get wood chips for your garden entirely free. Now, we do give him a little bit of gas money to help him, but it's a truckload of wood chips, which is well worth the $20, $30 that we toss his way as a thank you. And so we maintain a good relationship. We're helping out local small businesses and they're helping us with our garden. So I'm excited. He's on his way out right now. We've got the goats tied up, eating up some of the overgrown. This is the tree that we cut down several months back. Um, I'll share the video to that, that was funny. Oh my God. Babe, watch out! What about the trailer? What about the trailer? Oh my God, the trailer. We've yet to cut that up. We found out that it's um, light or not all down the center. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but the goats are currently eating around the top end of it. That's the top end. Um, Cause it's overgrown with weeds. So they're eating that down, but I've got them tied up and I've opened up the fence line. Oh my gosh, just looking at the, the, the grass line of what's going to eventually one day be our garden. It's just so exciting to me. We're gonna have him back up right through here, come down the center and dump the mulch right here, right in the center. And then we'll put the fence back around it so that whenever we let the chickens out to range, they will come in and they'll scratch it and spread it and eat all the bugs. Cause that's one problem with wood, with using wood chips is it often brings pests. So the chickens and the ducks will clear out the pests, spread the mulch, fertilize, and just make it really, really nice and good. And then we'll come in and we'll further spread out, clean up, level out the mulch that they started to spread. 